In today's video, I want to go over a free, sick PlayStation 4 game that might be coming soon. This is a game that is supposed to be released in Xbox One this year. It is due out first on the Xbox One. However, now it's been rated on Brazilian ratings boards as well. And whenever these ratings boards come out and a new game is listed for a platform, usually that comes to fruition. So we'll go over that. Also, probably the biggest news that is circulating the web right now is Borderlands 3 and all of the information that has come out about that game. We got the official release date. We have an idea on when we're going to see more games gameplay as far as the release date goes it's probably a little bit sooner than you expect also we have some details on the more expensive editions and unfortunately they're doing something that i'm not too big of a fan of so we'll go over that also a plague tale innocence a single player playstation 4 title i am very excited for has officially gone gold and it'll be releasing on the playstation 4 next month want to talk a little bit about that and then for you PlayStation VR owners out there, everybody's golf is getting on the PlayStation VR next month. That's a pretty iconic franchise, so cool to see him making the transition to PSVR. More on that at the end of this video. First off, let's talk about Bless Unleashed being rated for the PlayStation 4 in Brazilian ratings board. Now, this is a game published by Bandai Namco, and it's their first free MMORPG. And it's supposed to be due out on the Xbox One in 2019. The Xbox One version was slated to come out first. It was an MMORPG powered by Unreal Engine 4, and it looks pretty incredible. And here's the the about description from Bandai Namco directly. Quote, Bless Unleashed is the first free-to-play MMORPG from Bandai Namco Entertainment America, coming first to the Xbox One video game system. Built with a hardcore MMO gamer in mind, Bless Unleashed takes players on an epic multiplayer journey across a vibrant, persistent world where gods exist and mythical beasts are a constant threat. Adventurers will battle in hopes of surviving vicious, lethal monsters that inhabit the untamed landscape. The game tells a visually stunning MMORPG utilizing the Unreal Engine 4. The game brings unparalleled visuals and deep gameplay mechanics which offer one of the most beautiful MMORPGs built for a console platform. Combo-driven gameplay survive a menagerie of mythical beasts and other players with deep and rewarding combat system that features skillful combo mechanics coupled with action-oriented combat with dodging, a progression system handcrafted for online play, and an integrated player versus player mode provide added challenge and rewards at every turn. There's also going to be an immersive fantasy world, dive into an open persistent world with a rich backstory and an intricate plot as players Players uncover divine secrets on their journey to defeat the return of an evil goddess. An MMORPG built for modern consoles. It's built from the ground up to be a comprehensively and robustly supported live service. Every aspect from story to combat to skill progression has been carefully crafted with the console experience in mind. And it also mentions a classic fantasy with a twist. Choose between five classic fantasy jobs including the arcane wielding mage or the bloodthirsty berserker. Travel the world in search of the truth about the gods with other adventurers and experience a personal brush with divinity. We saw a lot of gameplay of Bless Unleashed last year and now that it might be also coming to the playstation 4 that's pretty exciting i've been touting that the free-to-play offerings on the playstation 4 are super robust now you've got games like warframe you have path of exiles terra all the battle royale offerings like apex legends and fortnite and now you throw bless unleashed into the mix yeah that's another big free-to-play game that could be making its way over the playstation 4 and i add the word could because it hasn't been confirmed yet but again whenever these ratings boards come out and they make a listing for a game coming to a specific platform 99.99 9999% of the times it turns out to be true, so we'll keep you guys posted on Bless Unleashed. Next up, the news that everybody was waiting for. Borderlands 3 now has a release date, and it'll be out relatively soon. Borderlands 3 arrives on the PlayStation 4 on September 13th. That rumor that was a fan theory pointed towards an October 1st release date, and everybody was super excited about that because October 1st wasn't that far away. Well, we're getting it even sooner than that. September 13th is when we're going to be able to play Borderlands 3, and that is super exciting. Now, it looks like we're going to get the first real gameplay footage of Borderlands 3, a live feed on May 1st, so that isn't all too far away, and I'm so happy that they decided to do a release pattern like this, where they announce the game, and then it's gonna be ready to release soon thereafter. We see all too much with games, especially Square Enix Japanese RPGs, that they're announced 3, 4, 5 years ahead of time, and it takes them so long to be released, and the anticipation and hype for the game honestly dissipates by the time the game is ready to be released. With a game like this, they announce it at a peak, and then they're gonna release it soon thereafter, so the anticipation is just going to be able to persist for the next couple of months and they can trickle out information little by little within that five month window so that's very exciting now this game is going to get a little bit of controversy going forward because it has been that on the pc side of things it will be a six month timed epic store exclusive whenever a game now goes epic store exclusive there's a little bit of controversy surrounding that as well but at the very least it is a six month timed exclusive i'm not condoning it but 2k games got a fat check from epic games and now they're in bed together and borderlands 3 will be a timed exclusive on there of course on the playstation 4 you'll be able to get the game regularly as you always 
always do on the gameplay we've seen thus far has looked really great and hopefully when we get the official gameplay reveal on May 1st it'll just get us even more excited. One thing that doesn't get me more excited however is Borderlands 3's Deluxe and Super Deluxe Editions. These are both digital and retail and they're the souped up high-end editions of the game however they come with boost mods for loot drops and XP earned. Though the official press release does not mention any other details their existence as a bonus in games with more expensive editions is a little bit concerning. This reminds me a lot of what Ubisoft did with Assassin's Creed Origins and Assassin's Creed Odyssey in that those games fundamentally I thought were very very good open world adventures however at the same time you were kind of forced to do the side content to actually level your character up so you can progress through the main mission adding those boosts where you get more XP I just don't like that at all Assassin's Creed Odyssey and Origins had that as well if you didn't want to go through all the side quests you could get an XP boost for $9.99 as a microtransaction but god I don't want to be in a world where I'm condoning you to do that if you just want to go through the game solo as a single player experience and not have to deal with a lot of the side content you should be able to play the game at the pace that you want to and it's clear as day that Ubisoft added all this content and shoehorned in a little bit of a grindy element to it just so it would take you longer to level up and for those of us that did just want to go through the main story then we would have to drop $9.99 if we want a more palatable experience and unfortunately I don't want to see gaming go that route I'm not saying Borderlands 3 is going to be like that but this is just a little bit concerning to me and I feel like if you are a gamer like me that doesn't like to bother with a ton of the side content yes we'll dabble in the side content here and there but we don't want to do all of it well then this might be a little bit concerning i'll keep you guys posted on that but again borderlands 3 will be dropping on september 13th Next up, a game that'll be out very, very soon that hasn't been getting a lot of attention and I really want to try fixing that is A Plague Tale Innocence. It has gone gold ahead of its release on the PlayStation 4 next month and if you guys are unaware of what this game is, it's coming from Focus Home Interactive and they have published some very compelling games and this is their latest. The story of A Plague Tale follows the story of Amika and her young brother Hugo. It begins in 1349, rats swarm in uninterrupted waves throughout the territory of France in a plague-ridden villages, countryside, and battlefields. This uncontrollable mass advances relentlessly. The Creatures devour everything in their path, men and animals alike to satisfy the endless hunger of their ever-increasing numbers. In the midst of hundreds of piled corpses, hordes of rats team over the bodies and leave little a hope for Amika and Hugo to escape with their lives. The faint glow of the flame Amika holds appears to be the only thing that repels a Plague Tale Innocence's swarming menace. So you can tell a very interesting concept and a compelling setting as well. I don't know how good this game is going to turn out to be, but I'm a fan of big story-driven games, and I think A Plague Tale Innocence can really end up surprising a lot of people. 16 minutes of gameplay was released by Focus Home last year during the Gamescom event, so I'll leave a link to that if you guys are interested, but I do think that this could be one of the early games of the year that ends up surprising a lot of people. And again, Focus Home just have a track record of publishing these games people don't see coming and they turn out really, really well. I'm not saying A Plague Tale Innocence is going to be absolutely that, but it is a game to definitely keep on your radar. And lastly, for those of you that have PlayStation VR, also coming in May is going to be Everybody's Golf VR. Yes, the Iconic series is coming back this time with a VR component. And there's an in-depth PlayStation blog that was posted by the developers saying, quote, after we began working on Everybody's Golf VR, we soon realized that we were onto something great. The nature of golf proved to be perfect for VR. The VR space itself further pushes the immersion so you feel as though you are really on a golf course surrounded by natural scenery. I know that's kind of the cool thing to say about every VR game, that oh, you're really in it, but with everybody's golf, I do feel like that this is a game that could really accentuate the power of VR, so we'll see if they get that right. There, our focus was on developing a golf game that felt real while still remaining accessible. We didn't want to make it a simulator, but instead something that players could easily enjoy. A big part of creating the realistic golf experience was making it compatible with the one PlayStation Move motion control as well as the DualShock 4 wireless controller, both of which you can use to take your golf shot. In addition to a variety of original courses with dinosaurs, we also built a practice ground, a first for the series for players to practice their shots before hitting the course. And of course, we couldn't forget caddies. Not only are they on hand to give advice as before, but now they also appear in random events during the rounds. We thought that VR created a unique opportunity to interact with them and hope that these events provide a fun little break between holes. Everybody's Golf is available to pre-order right now, and it will be released at a budget price point of $29.99, so I think that's great. If you do pre-order, you'll receive some bonus content at launch, including an additional caddy and three Everybody's Golf VR themes, so that's something to note as well. Again, at a budget price point of $30, and that will be dropping on May 21st. 
That's gonna conclude this video. Bless Unleash has been rated for the PlayStation 4 in Brazil. I'll keep you guys posted on that, but that looks to be a very good MMORPG published by Bandai Namco, and I think a PlayStation 4 version is in the works because we know the ratings boards never lie. Borderlands 3 will be out on September 13th, so I'm concerned with the special editions of the game, but overall, very excited to see what Borderlands 3 has to offer. A Plague Tale Innocence has gone gold ahead of its release on the PlayStation 4 next month. That'll be coming May 14th, and everybody's golf VR is gonna be hitting the PS4 May 21st pre orders are open right now and it is budgeted at $30. That's pretty good and that's gonna conclude this video. Sound off with all of your thoughts in the comment section down below. Thank you for watching and goodbye. Hey guys, we hope you enjoyed the video, and if you did, make sure to hit the subscribe button, and if you're already subscribed, do us a favor and hit the bell icon. This way you'll be notified whenever we post a new video. That's the best way to keep up with all of our uploads, and we usually try to upload two videos a day. And with the bell icon hit, you'll be notified whenever we do upload a video. As always, thanks for watching.